Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain the camera inlay because this was recently FDA approved for patients ages 45 to 60 to help improve their near vision. Now this is spelled K-A-M-R-A -A, and what it is is a small disc that is implanted inside the cornea in order to give up close vision in addition to distance vision in these patients who have age-related focus dysfunction or trouble seeing up close as they get older. The other name for this is presbyopia and other than glasses or contact lenses, the other treatments that we currently have are monovision with LASIK where one eye is corrected more for distance, the other eye more for up close, or we also have multifocal lens implants that we can place at the time of cataract surgery. Now with this inlay, the way that it works, it looks like a small disc that's placed in the cornea and in the center of the disc is an opening that's 1.6 millimeters. Now my wife enjoys photography and she could explain to you better than I can how this works but basically when there's that small opening uh, it takes advantage of what we call small aperture optics and it gives an increased depth of field where there's a larger range where images can appear in focus when you're looking through a very small opening like that. Now this is implanted in the non-dominant eye to help improve the near vision in that eye and the other eye, the dominant eye, is left untouched to focus more for distance vision. Uh, so this can help people be able to read and see up close without glasses. Now they have to have a very small prescription in order to qualify for it uh, because it doesn't correct for nearsightedness or farsightedness. It just helps with the up close vision. Now, the way that this is placed is in a pocket inside the cornea. Now this uses the same femtosecond laser that's used to create the flap with LASIK, but it creates a pocket inside the partial thickness of the cornea, and then this inlay is placed about in the middle towards the front of the cornea. Uh, with this, then, if necessary, it could be removed down the road, but the goal is to leave it in to help improve the up close vision. Uh, so this is new technology. We're probably going to hear more about it as time goes by. If you have any questions, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.